Alrighty, hello over there, ladies and gentlemen. Semanion here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Tech Guns mod. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have a whole bunch of crates here of fun. Alright, first things first, I guess we're going to start off with the most exciting thing, which was ob it's obviously going to be... Hmm, should we do the armor first? We'll do the creatures first, how about that? So we're going to grab one creature each here. Let's see here. We probably should pop into uh, creative for this because we are not going to be able to actually show them off if they're trying to unalive us, you know? Simple stuff, yeah. All right, so this is not all the creatures in the uh, the mod. I'm just showing off my favorite creatures. All right, first one we have here is the zombie soldier right here. Look at him. He's got a little shovel. He's kind of cool looking, kind of a... Uh, Creepy looking. He's got red glowing eyes almost. Look at that. He just gave me a little head nod. Yeah. And next we have the regular zombie soldier here. This one is, I think, like a farmer almost. Zombie farmer. That's what he is. So he's, he's like burning up actually. I'm sorry, guy. And next we have the zombie miner here. He's got a little hat. A little mining hat. You see that? He goes down to the mine shafts. All right, next one we have is the uh, army soldier. This one spawns in with a freaking rifle and stuff. He's got a ray on. He's kind of cool looking, honestly. It's like Steve, but if Steve was cool, you know? They can spawn in with various different weapons, too, and different attire. They don't always have these little red hats. Sometimes they'll just look like this. You know, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And they'll spawn in with whatever weapon they feel like spawning in with. All right, next we have the commando here. This one is pretty cool, you know, like a SWAT team esque kind of guy. Look at him; he's pretty cool. He's got his little uh, red dot, or not red dot, a freaking laser. He's got his little laser there. He's ready to take on a situation. Next we have our bandits here. These are the most obnoxious, and they look like they'd be, like, uh, you know, smuggling drugs or something. Or, like, taking over, like, military bases or something. So, anyway, look at that. He comes in. He they Also, the weapons of the bandits can be different, too. See, so some spawn in with... Uh, this one's got a pistol. This one has a rifle. And this one had a double-barrel shotgun. So it really tr truly depends. Oh, this one I think has an actual, like, pistol. Semi-automatic pistol. Okay, this one's got a uh, Thompson machine gun, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Next, we have Dictator Dave. That is the coolest looking man I've ever seen. Let's, let's take a minute. Oh, come on, sir, sir, please do not go in there, sir. That is private property. He is quick too. Dictator Dave is pretty dang quick. Sorry, right, we're gonna take we're gonna take a screenshot actually because this is, would this would make a great thumbnail. As you can see though, he's got his cool, cool little golden revolver. He's got some sunglasses. He is the freshest guy I've ever seen. All right, next we have the Cyber Demon. This is an absolute uh, interesting looking thing. It truly really does have that cyber, like, cybernetic, like, thing, you know, because it's, like, you can see, like, components and stuff attached to him. Like, he's got a little laser eye, looks like. So that, you know, he's pretty cool. He really has that cyberpunk-esque uh, kind of vibe going for him. I certainly, wanna, I certainly wouldn't want to be at the receiving end of that little ray gun, laser gun, whatever he's got there. Anyway, next we have our Skeleton Soldier, which is burning. He has a helmet, though. That's unfortunate. They can spawn in with any other any weapons they feel like spawning in, too. I'm so sorry. I've subjected all of the skeletons to be baked into a crisp. All right. Next we have some interesting ones I haven't actually seen before. We're going to do the Zombie Policeman first because I've actually seen this one. So that's the zombie policeman. He looks kind of rad, not even going to lie. <laughs> Resident Evil? Like, dang, look at him. 
They all got like pistols and revolvers and stuff. These guys are no joke, and they actually know how to use their weapons too. All right, next we're gonna spawn in our super mutant here. That is absolutely the most terrifying thing I've seen. Yeah, that is scary. That is actually gonna haunt my nightmares. Okay, and next we have the elite super mutant, which is even bigger. Look at him. I think he's even got a rocket launcher, which is pretty cool. That is wow. Com okay, let's get a picture here. Be compared to him. Like, he is like tall. Sir, could you stop moving, please? He is trying to currently, like, take me out of my exist mortal plane of existence, it looks like. Come on, one screenshot. Heck yeah, we even got Dictator Dave in the background. This is going to be good. Uh, look how... He's, he's got his little rocket launcher. Look how puny that thing looks next to him. And last but not least, we have the Heavy Super Mutant. Which is even bigger somehow, but he doesn't have armor, so that kind of sucks. He is absolutely scary looking. Look at him. They look scary, honestly. All right, that's it for that. Next up, we have ah a lot of armor. I'm not going to put all of the armor selection on because that would take way too long. And we've seen some of these items on like the bandits and the soldiers and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show off at least three of these. We're going to go with the HEV suit, obviously, because that I love a good Half-Life classic here. But this is our whole entire selection, along with some weapons down here. There is more weapons, but we haven't got to that part of the mod pack yet. I want to try this one out, too, because this looks pretty cool. All right, and one more. Um, power armor. Yeah, I love power armor. You know what? We should probably do the Exo uh, suit too, because that one's also pretty cool. And I remember use I had this on a uh, Towncraft server one time, or whatever it's called. On Towncraft. Okay. First things first, we're starting off the HEV suit. Looking pretty fresh, honestly. Like, I feel like I'm ready to go to Zen, honestly. Nothing too exciting about it besides that. Like. <laughs> That has a lot of cool stuff, like cooling system. New camo. You get a quick, uh, slightly quicker moving speed. And you can mine underwater. So that's pretty rad stuff. I look pretty cool. That's all I can say. All right, we're going to take this off and extend and put it back so we can review our next item, which is the Nether Armor. This one actually looks pretty cool. This one has a 15% uh, mining speed and move speed increase. Which is pretty nice. And plus 20 of knockback resistance. And it has oxygen gear, which is pretty nice. Now, if that isn't the coolest freaking thing, this honestly looks like something... Ah, oh, freak, what is it? Doom Slayer, almost, actually. I'm pretty sure that's what it's modeled after. Or whatever that mod is. Or not mod... Whatever that video game is. I think it's... Yeah, you know. Regardless, that's kind of what that I get from this. That's the kind of vibe I get. Pretty cool. Next, we're going to have our power armor. Do not interfere. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> okay, well, sorry. I had to get that out of my system real quick. Look how cool that looks, too, though. Like, oh, man. I feel like I just sucker punch a freaking super mutant right now. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do? That's right, nothing. Because I've been creative. But look how cool that looks. Unfortunately, this is not charged up yet. Look at that. You got a knockback resistance of 35 and only a 5% mining increase, which is pretty nice. And you get a health bonus of two hearts, which is pretty freaking cool. Man, I love that. Okay, whoops. Spoilers, huh? Ah, of course, I put that in the wrong order. Gosh, dang it. All right, last but not least, we have the Exo armor here. That looks pretty freaking cool. <laughs> look at him. I look like, you know what? Mm, look like Robocop, straight up. That's, that's exactly what this looks like. Huh. <laughs> 
That is crazy. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. I look stylish. I'm, de I'm definitely getting Robocop vibes from this. Like, actually. Hi there. But look how cool that looks. This has a 20% move speed increase, a mining speed increase of 7.5, knockback resistance of 15. Well, that's pretty cool stuff right there. I, I, okay. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Now, um, I'm sorry. We got shields and stuff too. I'm not going to show off all this stuff, but just like skim through it. You know, we got pretty cool stuff. All right. Next, we have some weapons here. Um, hmm, what should we, we're going to start off small here with our, low tier weapons here we have our hand cannon which takes rocks so our damage here is between uh five point oh our damage here is five um the lowest it is is five the highest it will be is eight that gave us a six so right around there all right next we have a double barrel shotgun which is uh you know, shotgun type, so this could either give us a random amount of damage here. Looks like 7. So 1.15 times 8, whatever that is. That's a lot. Well, that took him out pretty dang quickly, actually. That was like 4 shots. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, next we have our revolver here. I'm probably going to list off the damage because honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to the damage. All right, look at that. Six. Looks like we're getting consistent numbers here. I, that's pretty cool. The, the gold revolver actually has better stats. Because that had, could, could have a higher damage. I took him out in two shots. That means uh, Dictator Dave is like absolutely strong as heck. That's okay. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Oh, yep. All right. Let's put these back here. All right. Let's see here. Next, we're going to go with our uh, rifle esque things here. So, first things first, we have our M4 assault rifle right here, which is pretty nice. It has a slight zoom feature. I accidentally saw the butterfly. That is crazy. The damage output on this is not as good as I thought it would be. All right. Next, we have the Infiltrator. These two are actually not that much different, except this one has more, like, stuff. Like, optics and stuff. And of, co of course, it's silence, too. You hear that? Compared to the regular M4 Assault Rifle. You can hear that, but you can't hear this. Well, you can barely hear it. All right, next we have the bolt action rifle, which is pretty nice. You see that skeleton over there? Boom, hit shot. That took an uncomfortably long, long amount of time for him to, like, disappear. Oh, we you know what? Did I get the... Oh, man, I think I missed something here. Oh, I sure did. I just realized I missed the whole, a freaking whole entire rifle. Ugh. How the heck did I miss the most coolest rifle in the mod pack? Oh, man, that upsets me. All right, next we have the AKM, which is, you know, the Tomatov Kalashkinov, or whatever they say in Russia. All right, let's see here. We're going to spawn an elite... Elite zombie. <laughs> or this guy. I like this because it's, you know, AK-47. Pretty cool, I do say. Next we have the Thompson SMG. Pretty cool if you're, like, into 1940s, like, <laughs> mobster stuff, you know. Next we have a grenade. It's... Absolutely tossable and full of fun. I kind of like the grenades too. They're kind of fun to play with. Or 
Grenade! Yeah, I love that. The balance... <laughs> these grenades balance, too, which is absolutely funny. All right, let's toss these back in here. Whoops, I need that. I don't know why I tossed that in there. All right, next we got our pistol, our combat shotgun, our Mac 10, and our flamethrower, which is absolutely fun to use. All right, next we have our pistol. Pretty nice. It's pretty loud, though. It doesn't really work as quickly as I thought it should. Combat shotgun's really nice. For, like, clearing out, like, close uh, combat spaces, you know? Alright, next we have a Mac 10, which is great if you want to spray and pray. It's like 15% of how I do things. If It will send plenty of lead down range. Look, look at that, that is fun. Next we have a flamethrower, <laughs> so you can feel like the pyro from TF2. Arson, beautiful arson. Look how nice, look how nice that is. I've accidentally set a tree on fire. Well, that's what happens when you give me something flammable. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What's next on our repertoire here? All right, rocket launchers. Yes, and explosives. These are actually not in order, it seems. All right, so next we have our regular rocket launcher. You can actually toggle the damage. So it can either explode or it either can explode or cannot explode depending all right we have the grim reaper which actually launches four rockets which, which is pretty nice so that's four rockets for the price of one which is absolutely bonkers oops i forgot the grenade launcher man i love that i love the grenade launcher too so i can feel like the demo man like, I don't have to glue you back together in hell. <laughs> oh, man. I wish they had a sticky bomb launcher. Oh, man. That'd be great. Oops. I put that in the wrong thing. Look at me. <laughs> I'm unfocused right now. All right. Next, we have the AUG, the Nether Blaster, which the Cyber Demon has. Uh, Biogun, Tesla gun. All right. Let's test out the AUG next. This is another one of those great weapons for sending a bunch of lead downstream quickly. And the included sights is pretty nice too, honestly. Next we have our Nether Blaster. Which is actually not really that powerful. Alright, next we have our Biogun here. It's just vomits green stuff. Oh, look at that. It actually gives them a poison effect. For like five sec. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just like unalived him. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Next, we have the Tesla gun. I think this one shoots out lightning bolts. Yes. That is pretty cool. Actually, look at that freaking animation. That is pretty cool. That is almost as good as the HBM Nuclear Techmon's Gluon gun animation like that is just like epic animation honestly all right next we have the light machine gun the mini gun the vector score and we're gonna save the rest of these for next look at that i completely wiped out the whole entire tree all right so light machine gun pretty nice has a slight zoom feature oh man <laughs> this feels pretty nice I feel like I'm playing Half-Life again, almost. And the slate, like, animation going on there is pretty freaking cool. Alright, next we have the minigun. At the response time of the minigun is absolutely crazy. Like, look at that. Like, as soon as you click, it spools up. What you... Oh, sorry. Oops. So we're gonna... Like, look at that. That is... That is by far the best... The best at throwing lead downstream all right next we have the uh vector here this one's pretty interesting um it's a, a bullpup design i think 
uh, I'm not really a gun expert. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I just watched a bunch of uh, gun videos, you know, a long time ago. So that's that. Next, we have the SCAR. It's even got a scope. I love I love when they have the scopes. This one's pretty nice, honestly. Ah, man, I, that's beautiful, actually. Oh, man. All right. Next up here, we have the laser rifle, blaster rifle, blaster combat shotgun, PWD, huh? I have no idea what that is. We're going to use easy deonomatizer. They've got a lot of weapons here. All right. So anyway, we're going to get through this quickly because we only have like 10 minutes left here. All right. Laser rifle. Pretty nice. Pretty uh, kind of like fallout. Fallout this, honestly. I got a slight zoom feature. I kind of wish the scope on this would work, actually. I do like the uh, the animation of when they get, like, dispatched. I'm going to try this power hammer. I think this punches... Uh... Yeah, this is like a hydraulic fist, almost. It's just like you punch him. I think this is all so good for, like, mining stuff. I actually can't tell because I'm in creative mode. <laughs> Pretty interesting. I don't know if that's a good tool or not. All right, next we have the alien blaster. Oh, man, that is a bright, bright animation. That fills up your whole screen almost. That's pretty cool. Nice animation once again. Next we have the deatomizer pistol, which is, I think, from uh, Men in Black, if I remember correctly. Pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> pretty nice. All right. Next, we have the Pulse Rifle. This one looks pretty cool, honestly. Oh, man. It's got a freaking scope on it. Oh, man. That is so freaking cool. That is definitely my favorite now. Look how cool this looks. Kind of gives like hollow rifle vibes from uh, Fallout New Vegas. Okay, this is like the PWD, which is like a quicker version of the pulse rifle. All right, oops. Next, we have the sonic rifle. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting, actually. Next, we have the Blaster Shotgun. This is pretty interesting. I, I don't know if this is a laser weapon or like a shotgun weapon. Or a laser so shotgun, perhaps. Next, we have the Blaster Rifle. Oh, yeah, this is definitely from Star Wars. I bet this one is, too. I'm just, like, too, like, idiotic to actually know. All right, that's that. Oh, lordy. We're going to have to save the other, like, the ammo types and stuff for another episode, actually. All right, so let's see here. Next, we have the chainsaw nuclear death ray. We're going to save the nuclear death ray for last because that is going to be the most epic thing ever. All right. Yeah, these are actually not in any particular order. I think I reviewed the Thompson machine gun, so we can put that one back. All right, next thing we're going to use is our chain uh, chainsaw here. It's great if you want to mow down your enemies or chop down your enemies, I should say. Of course, you have to be really close combat with your enemies, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Like I, I, All this time here, you could be actually taking damage. It's great for chopping down trees, though. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have dynamic trees installed. All right. So they actually act normal. All right. We have our guide missile launcher, which, of course, slings missiles. So I could aim for this here, right here. Boom. Very nice. Next, we have our gas rifle here. 32 damage straight out of the back. Two shots. That is crazy. 
the reload time's kind of slow, but like, honestly, that is pretty freaking nice. I guess we have the mining drill. I don't think this is actually a weapon. I think this is, oh, 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 look at that. That is pretty epic though. I can just rip through the ground like nobody's business. I think it actually can be used as a weapon, though. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, next we have the TFG 10K, which kind of sounds like a camera. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, I don't know what that was, but that was big. That is pretty cool. It just shoots out a little green ball of fun. Oh, man. I took the first one out in, like, one shot, though. That's crazy. Oh, you can charge it up. Oh, no. Okay, that was epic. <laughs> okay. All right, next we're going to go on to the laser pistol. That's all right. I I've seen everything else has kind of just like been better, though. All right, all you got to try the assault of the... Uh the IAS-50 sniper rifle now. All right, so we're going to take our position on top of our little house here, right? There's our target. I'm not very good at aiming, actually, so I, I do not actually do this any justice. And they're armored, too. But the cool thing is you're going to get upgrades for all these weapons, or most of them, anyway. Not me old shifting like I wouldn't, like, fall out. Okay, that only took three shots, though, which is not bad. Let's see how much damage actually does. Six, twenty-six, and, you know, that's pretty good. So it does roughly 26 damage each shot. Which would take out any normal zombie in one go. Alright, I guess the last thing we have to review is the nuclear death ray, which is pretty interesting. Very. Did we use the laser rifle? I think we did. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. All right, nuclear death ray. Charge this up, and we cannot. Oh, freak! I just threw my spawn egg in here. Oh, dang us. All right, here we go. Nuclear death ray. I'm gonna put this over here because I. This might actually be bad. Oh, it's like the gluon gun. Okay, I, I I don't know why I was expecting it to shoot out a big ball of, like, nuclear explosions or something. That's pretty cool, though. That's, that's just your neighborhood cancer ray. I kind of wish you could charge it up and just, like, dispense a whole ball of, like, explosives. Like the uh, TFG uh, 10K. Which kind of is my favorite weapon now. Let's just use this one more time. Because you see that? It just like starts charging up. It kind of gives that vibe like uh, Uzi's uh, Railgun. From uh, Rear Drones. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.